great. I mean, what kind of world do we live in? And I asked a question about a senator here in Minnesota, Amy Klobuchar and Al Franken. They are both begging to bring in more of these Arabs, these Muslims. And here's the deal. Why do Democrat women, feminists, want more Muslims here? Because Muslims do not treat women well at all. Well, they listen, here's the deal. I don't want to say a lot of Muslims are good, hardworking people. There are a lot of radicals. Islam's becoming radicalized. The West is helping this. And that's a good way to end the interview to ask the Democrats on average. I'm not a Republican, but I mean, Democrats hate America. They hate freedom. They want to mount America's head on the wall. We're like a trophy. And so they're like spoiled kids throwing a fit, wrecking the house. What do you think in closing, Peter Schiff? Well, you know, I, I think I think that this is near the end. I mean, all of this, all the all the stuff that's going on. These are all you asked earlier on the show about signs. This is it. This is not normal, right? I think the the beginning of the end was the 2008 financial crisis. I know you got to go, know. dude. One sixty second break, seventy second. Come back and finish up your point of. This is not healthy. This is the the sign of the end, and then we'll let you get out of here. We'll also talk about how folks uh, get put some nice pressure on the president to let your dying dad out. Back in 70 seconds with Peter Schiff. Peter Schiff of Europac.com is our guest. Final segment with him. Then we're uh, going to go back to your phone calls for a segment. Then I've got our reporters in D.C. covering the papal visitation, the socialist nightmare trying to get a billion Catholic followers to go against what all the other popes and Catholics were who were anti-communist. I mean, what a nightmare. Uh, Peter Schiff's our guest. You were, you, we were talking about the West wanting to import unskilled people, 90% males, uh, coming in screaming, give me everything free, throwing rocks at everybody. I mean, it really is nightmare images. The media is trying to cover it up, and the caller said, what does this signify? And you said, it signifies that we've entered insane asylum land, basically, the end. Uh, Put a bookend on that and, and also how you think we could uh, put more pressure in a nice way on that prison uh, and, and the Bureau of Prisons to release the political prisoner, uh, Erwin Schiff, your father, because do they really want a martyr on their hands? Do they want him to die in prison? Well, you know, I think they are going to potentially martyr him. Even, even if he doesn't die in prison, you know, he may be dying as a result of his having been in prison yes. because of the incompetent way he was cared for in supposedly a uh, a medical facility. You know, he could have stayed in Otisville where he was enjoying himself and had regular visits, but no, they had to move him across the country so he can get medical attention, and then he got none, and maybe a routine melanoma that could have been uh, cured ended up as a, a life-threatening or death sentence uh, a cancer as it spread throughout all the organs of his body. Uh, so what can people do? I don't know. You know, I mean, you can call a congressman, put some pressure, let, it invest, let him out, get an investigation of, of the prison. I think it's a disgrace what's happening. But if even the people in the prison say, yes, we want to let him out, well, let him out. But this is government. Nothing can be done. You can't make a decision. Everything's got to go through so many different layers of bureaucracy that things that a private company could do or a private citizen could do in a minute takes governments months and maybe they can't even get it done. So we have to put some outside pressure because they're certainly not sure. uh, moving on their own. But the final thoughts on this end game. Again, I think this thing started to unravel in 2008. That was the beginning of the end. This is the this is the period, the unwinding of this massive bubble that began in 1971 when we went off the gold standard. It's been a long time in coming. Guys like my dad were criticizing it back in the 70s. He saw it coming from a mile away. And, you know, he may not live long enough to ultimately see the consequences. In fact, if you go and you read my dad's book, The Biggest Con, which came out in 1973, 1974, I still have some copies. You can order them at uh, Schiff Radio. It's a fantastic book, but it's amazing how far into the future my father saw and how much of what he wrote in that book has happened since he wrote it. Well, he's one of the original Patriot leaders, and we stand on his shoulders, and, and I just hope he knows how many people appreciate the work he's done because, uh, I mean, everything he exposed the IRS for political persecution, that's all come out. He exposed yeah. the, the, the the private pro, uh, Federal Reserve. That's yeah, and now. I don't, you know, I don't have many of those books left, and I I've been autographing the ones that I sell from with my signature. I can't get my dad's signature on, but it's on the bookstore at shiftradio.com. The biggest con. I also have some copies of his book, uh, The Kingdom of Malts, another one of my favorites. Which you know, that's also up there too. I've got more of those, but I am running very low on on the biggest cons. But you know what people can do about this? Look. 
you know, people make fun of me. Oh, Peter, you know, look, you've been saying the dollar is going to go down. The dollar has gone up. You know, it's gone up, but it's not going to stay up. It's only because people don't understand what the Fed is going to do. They don't understand the bubble in the U.S. economy. They're fooled. They're just as blind as they were. The same guys that are buying the dollar were buying the subprime mortgages. They were completely convinced they were doing the right thing, and they lost everything. The people who are buying the dollar is going to lose everything. People who bet against subprime made a lot of money. You've got to bet against the dollar. And the way you do that is you invest outside the U.S. You buy stocks in the few countries that are real safe havens like Switzerland or Singapore or New Zealand. All right. And we're helping our clients do that at your Pacific Capital, your pack.com. Very exciting. I Peter, we're out of time. Thank you so yeah. much. We'll pray for your dad. Thank you so much. We'll be back. Stay with us.